Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual, we're gonna be looking at many charts, but I will start with the majors. And for those of you who want to see the full version are welcome to do so over my site. The link is in the description below. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe because I do always upload at least one video a week. So you get the notification when I upload a new video. And do not forget to give me a like if you like these videos and why not write a comment and tell me what you think about them. So while I wrote the intro and the disclaimer, you have the time to give me that thumbs up. See you there. Welcome back. As usual, we take a look at the news calendar for the next week. And as you see, it seems like uh, next week it's all about Sterling, USD, Aussie, and uh, we have some Euro news. We'll start Monday with uh, Sterling, GDP, months and months, manufacturing production, and Tuesday, average earnings index, very important for the Sterling to look at. Um, if we look uh, back, we see that um, we are going down from 2.8 down to 2.4 and the market is expecting uh, 2.5 um, this month. Uh, Wednesday USD PPI month of months crude oil inventories gonna move oil and uh, of course uh, gonna be important for USD CAD and the super Thursday here again we start with Aussie employment change and unemployment rate uh, if we look at uh, earlier as well, we see that the unemployment rate uh, been going down for the Aussie, the market expecting unchanged. And of course, the most important event for the sterling, the uh, MPC official bank rate votes, monetary policy summary, official bank rate, the market expecting no rate hike and a void of uh, 009, which means um as you see here the first number is how many mpc members voted to increase rate hike so the market is expecting no one to to vote for uh, increase hike everyone uh, gonna vote for um hold the, the 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 rate as it is so this is the expectation for the sterling um, and what's uh, very important is of course the uh, monetary policy summary to to read that and see what uh, if we get any hints uh, from the um, boe and uh, after that main refinance rate for the euro and what's very important here is of course the press conference itself to try and see if we gonna get any hint as well especially for the qe ending or not and the date of that if we have any change after all what been going on in turkey and especially for italy so this is going to be important thing to uh, listen to and um, try to understand what uh, happening after that also on thursday as you see we have the cpi uh, month on month and core cpi for the uh, from the usa and friday uh, we have the uh, boe government carney speaks very important to keep an eye on that and from the us core retail sales and retail sales so um very packed calendar as you see but most of it about sterling usd um those gonna be uh, the most uh, pairs that uh, gonna have uh, lots of moves and it's very very important uh, i mean you do not need to be a super expert in uh, fundamentals guys but uh, at least have an idea about these uh, events what price in what and what's not and not only go um, with the technical analysis. So let's uh, dig in the chart and start looking at the technicals levels. We start 
with the um, with the Dixie on the weekly. As I said earlier, we do the majors, and those of you who want to uh, see the full video, you can see that in the over my site. The the, the link is in the description below this video. So the Dixie on the weekly chart, you see that we broke below the um, 200 moving average and we did a retest last week, ending the week with a uh, spinning top or an indecision candle. And uh, as you know, we had uh, the NFP last week. We've got what was very important last week in that NFP reading. If we take a look at that once again here. Um, it's not the headline number itself and that um, uh, we got uh, a bit higher uh, employ unemployment rate. What was important here is actually the average hourly earnings, which had a great uh, print uh, of 0.4%, um, as you see, uh, one of the highest numbers we have so far. And this is very, very important for the Fed and they're going to uh, keep tracking that. So that's why we had uh, Friday this uh, push higher, uh, ending uh, the day with a bullish engulfing candle. The levels to watch for the Dixie next week. Um, still, we have uh, troubles to the upside. That is uh, 9570 uh, area here is an important level for the dollar for a longer term continuation. In my opinion, you want to see a break above this, a retest. And then we can start thinking of possible continuation to the upside. Otherwise, uh, we may keep going uh, sideways. So um, keep an eye on this level to the upside. Uh, to the downside, the first support is, of course, our previous low here. Um, this down here is uh, the last line of defense before we start um, talking about uh, retest and uh, maybe test the lows down here or even lower at the bottom of the box um bullish on the dollar so for me i'm looking for uh, this uh, possible breakout and continuation or a retest back down here to uh, 9515 which was an important level earlier and uh, probably a continuation from here yeah so uh, since i'm am, i am bullish on the dollar i want to see these two scenarios uh, but a break below this, I will hold my <laughs> bullish uh, bias uh, at least short term on the dollar. Uh, I would change my bias um, for a longer term bearishness if we break back below this uh, 94.15 area or below this box. Gold. Let's go to the weekly as well. Um, as you see, we've had this retest and uh, the bullish week here, and then two couple of weeks with uh, spinning tops, indecision, bearish, both of them. It could be considered possible correction. And uh, on the daily, you see, we had this nice push, another higher low and a higher high. And this was the third higher low we have here. So the market is testing right now and a short term important level. Um, longer term, once again, guys, as I said last week, I need the goal to break back above these areas to see a possible continuation to the upside. Otherwise, um, if the dollar keep pushing higher after that good uh, NFP number, we may see um, some bearish uh, movement on the gold or at least sideways. Um, for our time frame, you see that the 200 moving average been acting as very good uh, support, resistance, resistance, resistance in the past. And here resistance three times as you see and uh, keep being pressured on the four hour below that. Um, any break uh, below this previous low here, that would be uh, a possible uh, short uh, continuation to the downside to start testing these levels down here uh, on the gold. Um, I will use the 200 moving average as my filter on the four hour time frame uh, to change a bullish move here i want to see a break above uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour time frame and a break ab at least above this high that would be a good reason to try along and a possible reversal if the dollar does not uh, continue it move to the upside 
so 1196 here we are again monthly pivot point a good uh, support level uh, from uh, earlier if we go back here you see that uh, where the price is testing that right now it was a good uh, support level and uh, been tested a um, couple of times as both uh, support and resistance if we look at um, the candles we have here uh, the this move here looks like a possible uh, correction uh, and continuation but Thursday was a clear rejection Friday um, we could see that as a spinning top and an indecision candle so the best way in my opinion to play this is to go to lower time frame is keep an eye on this slow down here a break below this will open the door for uh, testing uh, even lower on uh, the gold or uh, a break above the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, oil daily time frame <coughs> we still bearish here but we've got rejected a couple of time a little bit on thursday and friday was another uh, push uh, from the bulls as you see i was um, watching uh, this level down here the 66 area where we have uh, uh, this uh, trend line and the 200 moving average this is an important cross area i'm still looking to see if that would be tested that would be uh, the better level to uh, try to take along from uh, if we got that retest around the monthly s1 as for now on the four hour time frame we broke below previous structure and uh, we just putting a double possible double bottom here as you see the close uh, was much much higher we never closed uh, below previous low to say that we may continue uh, for now uh, we should keep an eye on this uh, level up here around the monthly pivot point uh, this is a good short term uh, resistance at this level we have the monthly pivot point previous structure the 200 moving average on the four hour so uh, this is a level to watch for a possible um, short in the direction of this trend but if that got broken then there is a possibility for another push higher based on this uh, double bottom down here yeah uh, i would like to um, look for long from the monthly s1 down here around the 60 uh, 66 area as i said earlier so this is also another level to keep an eye at if it, it got tested um, based on this uh, channel down here yeah so uh, that was it for oil um euro usd still inside this uh, range here around the uh, 1.3 73 uh, is the resistance and down here around the monthly pivot point uh, 1.1530 is uh, support as you see friday's candle after the nfp was a very strong uh, bearish one and i'm looking for a possible continuation to the downside uh, for uh, euro usd but first we have uh, this support level down here that uh, may give it trouble so uh, for me i want to see a break below this level to uh, try and get a possible retest and a continuation if that happened the break happens uh, like on the four hour time frame and we got a retest and uh, bearish evidence at this area at this structure level then that would open the door to a short uh, trade all the way back down to the to test these levels as you see here um, we had a try to push higher we broke the highs but then uh, after the nfp we got uh, a break below the neckline and uh, what we need to watch right now is uh, down here 1.1530 is an important support level that i uh, want to see a break below that to short uh, euro usd okay um sterling usd also tested a very important level let's go to the weekly so we see at the weekly we ended as um, a doji here in decision uh, candle daily time frame we uh, broke outside of this uh, channel tested uh, this support level this uh, very old support level a good and important one and got rejected back up and then 
back at the highs here got another re rejection to the downside uh, last friday yeah so i'm looking for a possible uh, continuation now after this uh, strong rejection um on lower time frame like one hour or so i want to see uh, a break and close below this structure then possibly a retest and a continuation to back to retest this uh, major uh, and important support level um, on uh, sterling usd aussie usd still bearish as you see we're still inside this uh, descending channel if we go to the weekly you see how important this level that we broke last week so um, this uh, week here uh, last week we broke below this major support level and there is actually nothing to hold it on weekly time frame until we reach these lows down here so there is no reason to do anything else uh, the trend is still uh, bearish and the best would be to keep trading in the direction of the major trend so the last broken level was this area and of course that would be the first level to look at for a possible shorting opportunity if we get a retest back to this level to take a short in anticipation to uh, keep moving to the downside yeah so uh, you need to keep an eye on this uh, level down here uh, 0.7150 ish area it is a clear level that broke below here and we look for the retest and the continuation usd jappy still not the f the best pair to trade uh bouncing up bouncing down a bit of sideways there is no clear direction yet on the daily time frame you see we're still trading above uh, the 200 moving average the 110 down here is the major support still um, any retest to that level could be a good level to buy and uh, to the upside we still have uh, this important 1180 as a possible uh, resistant level for our time frame as you see we are now inside in the middle of uh, this uh, range here between uh, the 110 and the 1180 yeah so this is the middle of that and uh, it's not uh, the best place to make business because this could go down or goes up from here um since we are in uh, mid range yeah and as you see we had a break below previous low uh, last week and uh, that usually mean that you probably get a correction as we had and another push lower uh, so that's why i'm saying the best level to look at is 110 uh, for a possible bounce higher or if we reach 1180 and you get bearish evidence at this level a possible trading uh, short-term trading at least to retest the monthly pivot point for more upside we want to see a break above these highs that would um, give it uh, a push higher to retest monthly r1 and probably these highs as well so um sideways and uh, best to uh, do is uh, to uh, play the edges of this range guys new zealand usd also very bearish as you see and if we go to the weekly to see what we what we have after last week you see that we have a close below uh, previous low on the weekly as well as i said earlier the day the when we broke this level here it was a clear signal that we will see uh, when we broke this uh, low here there is not much to hold as support until we reach this first trouble level down here and uh, this extreme uh, low at um, at this level down here yeah so it is a break and close below previous structure that is a signal for a possible continuation on the daily it looks like uh, we're still sitting at that support what i would like to see uh, with this friday scandal a close below previous low here that didn't happen but still we have a weekly close below uh, this low down here so 
what I want to see on uh, lower time frame that uh, this uh, possible uh, double bottom we have now to not work yeah so uh, there is this double bottom still uh, in play and uh, could um, could bounce higher uh, as, let's see where from this comes as you see I think it is a bit hard to see uh, where that is but we do have on the daily here at this support level a previous structure and right now on the four hour time frame uh, we're putting a possible double bottom i want to see a clear close on the four hour below this low that will open the door for a retest and continuation so as for now this double bottom scenario is still um, intact and uh, this could give us another bounce from here but the previous high up here is the important level that may give you another um, trouble area uh, for this to reverse it need to break above the neckline that will confirm the double bottom and uh, then possibly a retest and another push higher at least short term but for me, uh, what I want to see is a break and close below this to continue uh, with the trend. USD CAD daily time frame, you see that we broke outside of this uh, channel last week, did a correction and Friday another uh, push higher after uh, making uh, this uh, little retest here. So for our time frame you see we had a very very strong move to the upside read um, correction and that right now we still have this important area up here as a possible resistance level so the level to watch is of course once again up here if we're gonna get trouble or bearish evidence for a short-term bounce lower or if we see a break above that that would be a possible signal for a retest and continuation once again to retest these highs up here yeah um, i am more looking for uh, this possibility yeah break above the trend line like this retest and continuation uh, for usd cat usd chief daily <clears throat> you see that the major support level is down here this is the first uh, area that we may see uh, possible trouble at on the weekly time frame it's much much clearer we broke below the snack line we broke below the 200 moving average we did a retest on the weekly and uh, we pushed back down uh, ended the week as a uh, uh, possible doji down here but uh, still this structure down here could be a good level if we got a retest for a possible bounce the rsi start getting close to the oversold on the weekly on the daily it did an oversold and start moving higher we did have a close at the low of previous structure uh, below the 200 moving average what I'm looking at for uh, this pair is this structure up here once again. If we test this level for a possible bounce once again to the downside, uh, possible consolidation down here or um, continuation to reach that uh, major support level that we showed uh, that I showed you on the daily. Uh, this is uh, still possible um, to call for a reversal on um, usd chief really if to have a chance to start reversing you need to see a break above these highs up here then a retest and then a possible uh, move higher yeah to test this uh, major broken structure as for now still bearish and uh, as far as there is no break above this structure it is still a sell area up here so uh, well that was it for uh, the youtube uh, version of um, this weekly overview 
for those of you who want to uh, watch the rest of it are welcome to do so over my site as i said the link is in the description below so see you over there guys